Lindsay Partridge and I'm Franny Gavin Hines and, and we, we want to inspire you to try the No Tools Challenge. Guess how many times it took us to get that one right? More than it showed up. <laughs> this is trivia time. She's my 2016 makeover horse. And this is You Gotta Be Kidding. He's my 2016 makeover horse, but his barn name is Gus. She is uh, six years old. And he's four. And what we're gonna do today is a little game called I Dare You to Try. And what we're doing for the month of March is we're trying to inspire people to play with your horse with no tools. And the big reason for that is because we want you to try to become more observant of your horse, about what they're ready to do, about how interesting you are. So with this horse, she's a very busy body. So as you can see, she's kind of trying to lead there because I'm talking to you guys and I'm not paying attention to her. How dare I do something like that? So for her, I have to be busy and I have to be interesting. So she's gonna really love this game. And for your horse, they might be more of a laid back horse and they might want to stand still more. So playing with no tools encourages you to try to get to understand your horse more, try to figure out what they like. Like, do they genuinely like scratches or do they not? Are you too assertive or how's your feel and how's your timing? And you don't have to do anything like what Franny and I are gonna do. You don't have to be at that kind of level and play with tricks and things like that. You can simply just spend time with your horse out in the pasture or in an arena with no tools, observing them, trying to interact with them a little bit, and just get to know your horse a little bit more. Like how long do they spend in one area of the arena? Or are they busy and they go around from different thing to different thing? So just kind of get to know your horse, play with your feel and timing, and just have fun with it. Just make sure you stay in a safe place, nothing that your horse can get caught on, nothing that your horse can kind of jump out of the ring and end up on a road or anything crazy like that. Make sure you stay safe, and I hope you guys have fun watching this. I dare you to try. All right, so here we go. First thing is with the ball, and I ask Mystique to jump the ball for me. So just a little fun thing to do with our horse and then Franny comes along and that was really cute she's never actually asked Gus to try to jump a ball before so he ends up kind of kicking it and doing a little bit of a hop but remember the goal of this is just dare to try and the idea is to kind of explore with your horse with no tools so here Franny's asking uh, Gus to do a lay down and uh, when we do that, we try to direct them down and we, we tend to kind of hold one of their legs to ask them to kind of keep their knee bent so they can figure out to stay down. And now what Franny's trying to do is to see if she can flip Gus over onto his back. And so the way she does it is she kind of waits for them to roll a little bit and then she kind of catches a little bit. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, well, well done, Franny, she's doing a great job there. And Gus, as you can see, uh, doesn't seem too upset by it. She's going to give him some positive reinforcement there. And then just to make sure that he doesn't get worried about being flipped upside down, she just asks him to go on his side again and gives him another cookie there and some scratches just to make sure he knows that he was a good boy and that he doesn't have to worry about anything like that. So I've never actually asked Mystique to ever flip over before. So this is going to be my first time ever doing that. I have taught her to play dead though, so uh, she's going into her play dead stance. And usually I tell her not to roll, so instead I kind of was trying to pick up her feet there a little bit. And she's kind of saying, I don't know about that mom, like that's a little bit weird, what are you doing with my legs? So what I'm going to do is uh, ask her to do a lay down again. And this is kind of the cool thing about playing with no tools is it, is it really gets you aware of your horse's readiness level. And so she very clearly said, you know, I'm not ready. And if you try that again, you know, I'm probably going to leave. So then for me, as, a, you know, the trainer and her partner, I'm thinking, okay, so how could I break that into a smaller step? And, you know, maybe we're not going to accomplish flipping her over on her back today. But what can I do to build her up to the next step? Because she got a, a little bit upset when I kind of grabbed her foot and pulled her up. So I'm giving her a little reward. And then what I'm doing now is just simply bending her leg a couple times. And she, you can see she kind of flinched a little bit. She wasn't sure what I was doing there. So I gave her a little reassuring rub and a cookie. And now I'm doing it again, moving her leg and grabbing the second leg because she seemed okay with that. 
and then giving her that positive reinforcement so she knows that she's doing a good job there. And then just trying it again. And that time actually lifting her shoulder <laughs> just a little bit off the ground. The other side. And then giving her that positive reinforcement. And that just lets her know that, you know, it's breaking into that little small step. So it's being respectful of her, her threshold. All right, so here's a little look at our Spanish walk. So she's coming along pretty nicely with that. Is able to follow me with both legs there. So give her a little positive reinforcement for that. And then here's a little look at Franny and Gus. So Franny hasn't been uh, practicing this as much with Gus. So she's at a, an earlier stage. So she's doing the one leg, the one on the side closest to her and doing little bits of walk in between and practicing lifting that leg. And that's awesome stuff. So he's pretty willing to give that a try and very nicely done. The little lift of the leg there. All right, so this next thing that we're gonna try to do here is the pedestal. So I'm doing a little cheek hold there to direct her. And now that she's got her eye on the prize, her eye on the pedestal, she's up and on top of that. So I usually like to get them to stop with their front feet on it first, and then kind of wait to see if we do the back feet. And there she actually stumbled off with her front feet. So I'm gonna turn her around and ask her to try that again and see if she can be a little bit more balanced. And the reason I like to do the two feet and then the back feet is just to make sure they ask the question, you know, do you want the back feet rather than making an assumption? And the other is to try to get them to balance really nicely too. So she, she stands really close with her feet together on the pedestal there and ask her to step down off of that. Good job for her. And then now we're taking a little look at some bridalists. So I am sitting on a thin line bareback pad and that's just because um, Mystique's back isn't all that strong. So she had uh, the entire year of 2017 pretty much off because I was training my 2017 thoroughbreds, uh, Boudry and here comes Audrey. And then uh, got her back into work a little bit, but then she spent uh, the entire month of February at my friend's farm. So she wasn't really doing a whole lot there. So I want to have that bareback pad because that back isn't super strong and I don't want to be sitting right on the spine. So just trying to make it a little bit more comfortable for her. And the idea behind the no tools challenge isn't that, you know, you can't use things that are going to make your horse comfortable or use props to do things like what I'm doing right now. But it's more about not using a tool to trap or control your horse, but trying to use your body to clarify any misunderstandings or to help your horse figure out what it is you want them to do. So here I'm just playing with the umbrellas a little bit, letting them kind of pop back open a little bit. Uh, I like to use different things, different, different props, if you will, just to kind of help build their confidence up and show them that uh, just to not react. And there's a little look at our jump in the ball there, a nice narrow target. All right, so we'll take a little look at Franny's bridalist. And she hasn't done a ton of work with no neck rope and neck rope and um, definitely not super recently either. So uh, she's doing a little bit of work with him here with the stuffed toys. And practicing neutral is a really good one. Asking the horse to read that energy of your body of do you want them to move or do you not want them to move? And that can be a great first step. And you can see with our steering, we tend to use our hands a fair bit to help reinforce our leg. And I actually kind of ride Mystique, kind of like the, my hands talk to the front end of the horse and my legs talk to the back end of the horse a little bit. So I hope you guys are enjoying watching us play with no tools. I hope you feel inspired and we definitely want to hear how it goes with your horse playing with no tools. Thanks for watching, guys.